Earth as a mesmerizing planet teeming with the natural beauty and magnificent features, it would be unfair not to explore these places. Modern transport links and travel apps have made it possible for people to reach the farthest, most secluded parts of Earth. But that doesn't mean all the newly accessible places are safe, too. Some locations are too dangerous or too protected for common people to explore. In this video, we'll tell you all about these amazing places people should never go to and the people who went despite the prohibitions. So make sure you watch the video till the end and give it a thumbs up. Pokemon Hunters Nestled in the picturesque parish in England is the village of Box, but this place also has its very own sinister secrets. In the old and abandoned quarries near the village, there are huge metal grates blocking the scary cracks in earth. From outside, they look like caves keeping something hostile locked in. These grates actually cover the entrances to the Box Mines, which is a network of more than 18 miles long of convoluted tunnels that can go as deep as 120 feet suddenly. Mining was terminated in these tunnels back in 1970, and some parts of the quarry were sealed shut by the British Ministry of Defence. Since the shutdown, these tunnels have been strictly off-limits for the public. People are constantly warned to stay out of the mines if they don't have a proper map or guide since it's easy to get lost in them. But all maps may not be accurate either because in 2016, four teenagers got lost in the maze-like tunnels while following the map directions from a gaming app called Pokemon Go. They were tracking a particular Pokemon when they went in the tunnels and got lost. They wandered in the mines for many hours before they finally managed to call for help. Three fire crews and two rope units immediately went into the mines to save the youngsters, but they also had to call the key holder. Fortunately, all four teenagers safely returned home. Paveglia Island Paveglia is a small island located three miles south of Venice, Italy. From a distance, it looks like a lush green paradise with exceptional architecture, but the abandoned buildings of this scenic island have a dark past. The public is legally prohibited from entering the island since it is a safety risk, but there's also another reason. Paveglia actually has a reputation of being one of the most haunted places on Earth. When Italy was struck by the Black Plague in the 17th century, thousands of sick people were sent to Paveglia to quarantine, and most of them perished on the island in agony, never to return home. In 1922, Paveglia was made the base of a mental hospital. According to legend, a mad doctor conducted unethical and unapproved medical experiments on patients here. The island was abandoned in 1968 and was declared off-limits, but no amount of warnings were enough to keep out the ghost hunters and paranormal investigators. Luigi Brugnaroran explored the abandoned island after getting approval from the island's owner. They weren't expecting any paranormal incidents during the day, but while exploring the buildings, the couple felt like they were being watched from the doorways, windows, and the halls. Other trespassers have also reported hearing screams of the mental hospital patients and the moans and groans of the plague victims. Some even reported being touched and pushed by the ghosts of Paveglia. Tomb Raiders In the Shaanxi province of central China, one of the most magnificent man-made feats ever known to the world is kept behind the walls of a very simple building. This building is actually the museum of the infamous Terracotta Army and is dedicated to the excavation sites of around 8,000 life-size clay warriors. These terracotta warriors were constructed around 2,000 years ago. Hundreds of thousands of tourists visit the museum every year to witness the sculptures, but they're never allowed to set foot in the nearby 35-square-mile mausoleum which contains the remains of China's earliest leaders. The unexcavated tomb of Qin Shi Huang also lies here, who is regarded as the very first emperor. These warrior sculptures were hand-built to defend the emperor in the afterlife, but some people just don't respect the sacred site. In 2010, during an evening patrol, two guards noticed loose dirt on the earth mound sealing one of the tombs. They also discovered hacksaws and cell phone covers. They ended up having to call the police after noticing a hole in the same seal that led into the 100-foot deep tomb. Cameras were lowered into the tunnel and it was found that the coffins had been smashed and looted. Soon after, the authorities arrested nine suspects who eventually confessed that they blew up the tunnel using dynamite. Some experts also thought that other parts of the museum had been robbed. A Royal Intruder Buckingham Palace is a very popular tourist destination and receives around 500,000 visitors annually, but tourists are not allowed to explore the palace freely. Tourists are only allowed inside the Queen's residence for 10 weeks during the summer. They only get to see the gardens and the six state rooms, including the throne room. The rest of the palace is strictly off-limits to the public, but that doesn't keep people from trying. On the 9th of July 1982, a man called Michael Fagan scaled the 14-foot-high perimeter wall of the palace. 
He climbed up a drain pipe and entered the palace using an unlocked window. He wandered the corridors and even triggered the alarm system, but the police thought it was just a glitch. He kept exploring until he broke an ashtray and injured his hand. Holding the broken glass, he went inside the bedroom of Queen Elizabeth and sat down on her bed. It didn't mean any harm, but he wasn't in a stable state of mind either. When she woke up, the Queen told him to wait where he was and hurried into the corridor. Her footman then entered the room and escorted Fagan out and handed him into police custody. During the investigation, they were shocked to find out that Fagan had actually broken into the palace once before. He was found to be mentally disturbed and therefore was committed to a psychiatric hospital for three months, and the Queen didn't press any charges. Keep out Local mines of Arizona have attracted treasure hunters for a long time. John Waddle, a 62-year-old man, was also going to hunt for treasure one day in October 2018. He was going to comb the area around a nearby mine and informed his neighbor that he'd return the next day. But when John didn't return by Wednesday, the neighbor went out to search for him. When he arrived at the site, he heard John screaming for help. He was at the bottom of a 100-foot deep mine shaft. The shaft had a huge warning sign at the entrance, but John had decided to ignore the sign and ended up falling inside. He sustained several injuries and broke a few bones because of the fall, and things were made worse by the hostile company he had down there. Poor John was surrounded by venomous rattlesnakes. He managed to fight off and kill three snakes while he was stuck in the shaft. Soon after being found, emergency teams rescued him and rushed him to the hospital. He could have avoided the entire ordeal if only he hadn't ignored the warning sign. Legally Haunted Among the green hills of Sariska Tiger Reserve of Rajasthan, India, sits the spectacular fort of Bangar. It was built in the 16th century and was once considered an architectural marvel. Today, the old abandoned and empty fort is legally classified as the most haunted place in India. It is off-limits to visitors after sunset. Legend has it that ghosts and spirits roam the premises freely and have been allegedly responsible for some accidents that happened in the fort at night. The paranormal activity apparently began when the fort was abandoned in the 1700s. A local legend narrates that the fort was cursed by a hermit who insisted that no building should cast a shadow on his home. Another tale says that a magician fell in love with a princess from the town and tried to win her over by using a love potion, but the princess flung the potion onto a boulder. The boulder came loose and crushed the magician who cursed the fort before he died. But the haunted history hasn't stopped people from sneaking into the fort at night. An anonymous explorer and his friends visited the fort at night in 2011. An hour later, the group of four saw a man sitting near a window with iron bars. He had wide eyes and didn't blink at all. He then turned and smirked at them with an evil expression. All four were frightened and ran for their lives. Disappearing Act Area 51 is the center of attention for all sorts of conspiracy theorists. The area is surrounded by numerous rumors of extraterrestrial interactions and is highly restricted. Unauthorized persons are not allowed inside and are kept away by warning signs, surveillance, and armed guards. But eight miles northeast of Las Vegas lies another highly restricted base, the Nellis Air Force Base. It covers around 14,000 acres and mostly consists of restricted ranges used in military flight operations. In 2014, a man named Kennedy Veach is a long-distance hiker who gained attention online after leaving a strange comment on an unknown video on YouTube. He claimed that he had discovered a hidden cave between Area 51 and Nellis Air Force Base. The cave had a weird M-like shape, and when Kenny tried to enter, he felt strange vibrations passing through his body. He was scared and immediately left the cave. The internet didn't believe him, so he decided to revisit the cave with a camera to film his experience. Unfortunately, he couldn't remember the exact location of the cave, but Kenny didn't give up. He went on an overnight hike again, but this time he didn't come back. His girlfriend reported him missing and a search party by Nevada rescue volunteers went out to look for him. Kenny's phone was discovered next to an abandoned mine shaft after a week. A camera was sent down the shaft, but nothing was found and the search was called off. And to this day, both Kenny and the cave haven't been found again. Many people think Kenny just got lost in the desert and he wasn't carrying a GPS. However, some have speculated that he faked his own death and started afresh. But someone called Internet Crawler has speculated that Kenny did find the M-shaped cave again, and it turned out to be a secret government facility. Kenny probably saw something he shouldn't have, and was therefore taken captive. Any of these theories could be correct, but we'll never know for sure. Password, please. In the Bohemian Grove of Northern California lies a 2,700-acre camp. This camp is completely isolated from the outside world and is therefore the ideal spot for a male-only club for the rich and powerful. Members of this club include Ronald Reagan, Richard Nixon, George Bush, and George H.W. Bush. 
The camp was opened in 1942 and the high-profile club members have remained quite tight-lipped about what happens here. There are several conspiracy theories about it. In order to join the club, one must be invited by an existing member and pay an initiation fee of $25,000. But in 2000, a conspiracy theorist named Alex Jones decided to skip the hefty fee and just sneaked inside the camp. You may know him as the InfoWars host, who once accused the government of using chemicals to turn frogs gay. Jones and documentary journalist John Ronson went into the forest to see what was going on inside the secret club, also considered a cult. Initially, it looked like a normal but extremely luxurious campsite. There were musicians playing instruments and fully stocked bars all around the place. At 9pm, a loud bell rang and all the members gathered around a massive 40-foot statue of an owl. A man in king robes began preaching in Old English verse, and they all prayed to the owl. There were some pyrotechnics too. Numerous figures dressed in hooded purple robes appeared from the tree and set fire to a huge pit at the foot of the owl. Afterwards, they tossed something resembling a coffin into the flames. Alex naturally thought he was witnessing a ritualistic sacrifice, but John had a more realistic approach and speculated that the area was probably an owl sanctuary. What do you think it was? Tell us in the comments. The City of Catacombs During the 18th century, Paris wasn't as mesmerizing a city as it is today, and it definitely didn't smell good. The city was rapidly expanding and the cemeteries were overflowing with corpses. The stench of decaying bodies attracted disease-carrying pests. The city decided to resolve this issue by creating the Paris Catacombs, which are now a terrifying tourist attraction. This is a labyrinth of passageways and was installed in the tunnels of former quarries. These aligned with the bones of almost 6 million people who died centuries ago. The catacombs stretch for a whopping 150 miles underneath Paris. Just a small portion of the catacombs is open for the tourists and entering the prohibited galleries has been illegal since 1955. But just like in all the other cases, people have secretly ventured inside these galleries using secret entrance points scattered across the city. Some are even bold enough to upload their videos to YouTube. In May 2017, two teenagers ended up getting lost in the maze-like tunnels. They'd entered the catacombs using a secret entrance without a guide or a clue about what lay ahead of them. In fact, they didn't even bring flashlights. They were lost under the city for three days when authorities were informed of their disappearance and specialized search dogs were sent down to track them. Fortunately, they were found hungry, dehydrated, and freezing cold. Before moving on to number one on this list, take a look at this video. This man, you see, had no clue that he was about to walk into an abyss. As he opened the garage door, he was met with what looks like foam or soaked bubbles. From floor to ceiling, the entire garage was filled with it, and the man didn't seem to mind. He just looks at it and strolls in without giving it a second thought, although the human-shaped void he left behind in it is pretty cool. North Brother Island In the East River of New York lies an incredibly terrifying island, just next to the infamous jail complex known as Rikers Island. It's called the North Brother Island and it has a horrifying backstory. Currently, it's against the law to visit this island without acquiring a personal approval from New York City Parks and Recreation Department. The island is littered with decaying buildings that could crumble to the ground any minute. Nature has reclaimed the entire place, but this scenic island was home to the Riverside Quarantine Hospital in the 1880s. New Yorkers suffering from infections like smallpox, tuberculosis, and other debilitating illnesses were condemned to live out their last days on this island while being studied by doctors. The infamous Mary Mallon, or Typhoid Mary, who was the first U.S. resident to be identified as an asymptomatic carrier of typhoid fever, was there. Mary used to work as a cook, and since she had no symptoms, she unknowingly infected around 122 people. She was therefore quarantined on North Brothers Island for the rest of her life. By the 1930s, the need for a quarantine hospital eventually decreased, and the island was therefore abandoned. It was later used to house war veterans who desired to further their studies in 1943, and afterwards it was converted to a rehabilitation center for teenage drug abusers. But severe corruption allegations against the facility caused the island to be finally abandoned for good in the 1960s. That was all about the off-limits places with a dark history. Tell us in the comments which one you found most interesting. We'll be back soon with another amazing video. Until then, have a great time.